Funeral services were held for Staff Sergeant Nathan Pyatt today as details of his murder unfold on the mainland. Chris Unpinkle has more. The island is in a state of shock and sorrow as we mourn the loss of another son of Guam. Staff Sergeant Nathan Pyatt was murdered outside of his Las Vegas home on December 1st. His body arrived on island last week and funeral services were held at St. Francis Church in Jotnir. St. Francis was overflowing with friends and family who came to bid Pyatt one last goodbye. The church was also filled with mixed emotions. Anger, confusion, and mostly sadness could be felt through the silence that blanketed those in attendance. The 2000 Southern High School graduate leaves behind four children. Pyatt also leaves behind countless friendships and memories of the lives that he touched. He was always supportive. He was just easygoing, always smiling, always you know, just hanging around with friends, easy go lucky. I would thank him for everything that he's done, you know, serving our country and representing Guam, and just thank him for just knowing him. Perez recalls speaking to Pyatt months ago, just before their 10 year high school reunion. One of Nathan Pyatt's regrets was that he would not be able to make it to the reunion to enjoy the company of the many friends he made growing up on Guam. Sadly, he makes his final return to Guam where his many friends and relatives got to see him once again, once more. After the funeral services in Jonia, Nathan's body was taken to Veterans Cemetery where he was laid to rest. He was followed by hundreds of people who came to grieve and most of all to remember how he enriched each of their lives. Nathan Pyatt will always be remembered as a loving father, a dear friend, and a dedicated soldier. Human Local for Guam News Watch, I'm Kristen Pinko. Thank you, Chris.